and hello everyone, welcome to the fourth part of the key guide. It's lovely to see you tonight. And last part, we got through the five missions which you see on the left. And this time we're going to start with the arc. So let's begin. For the first key, all you want to do is from the start go backwards. Yep, pretty easy key. Just wait until Shadow picks it up. Yep, there it is. And he picks it up. Thank you. For the second key, after you reach this section with the flying creature with a giant turret shooting at you, you can't miss it because, you know, they're shooting at you, drop down from here and blow them up. That's not really required, but what you want to do is jump down there where the rings are and turn around. Then you'll see yourself the second key. Amazing. For the third key, after you reach this flying station with the yellow wall, make sure you stick it slow here and take a look at the left side. If you see correctly, this should be a platform down at the bottom left corner. What you want to do is fly all the way to the left and jump off with pressing the X button. Homing attack and make sure you land on the platform. If done correctly, you will land here and if you look around, you see two boxes and a key. If you've done correctly. If you did. Okay. For fourth key, when you reach this checkpoint right here, go on this flying beast or creature or whatever, jigger, bobber, and go fly. When you reach the tunnel over there, in the distance, what you want to do is jump off, because the key is actually in the tunnel. What you want to do is jump off and turn around. You will see the key at the end of the tunnel. <gasps> There's a key at the end of the tunnel, I'm not dead. Plus, okay. And the Final key is actually at the end of the level. If you see the gold ring, go run past it and run all the way to the end. Then we find the fifth key. So, how about we take a look what's in the key door, shall we? Well, the key door is actually located not too far from the exit. What you're gonna do is just move two checkpoints backwards into the fifth door and into the checkpoint number six. That's basically where the key door is pretty nearby. After just straight after this turret looking at you. Staring at you. They want your soul. Let's get it. And the key is right there. So if you jump off, let's take a look what's inside, shall we? How about we take a look? And we get ourselves three extra lives. Which is not too bad, I guess. If you're low on lives or just want to get a few lives, just I think you get a few points for that as well. Yeah, you get about 200 points for that, so that's pretty nice. Okay. For the next level. We should clean the next in the line, which is the air fleet. So let's take a look where the keys are. For the first key, after you met Tails for the first time, and the probably first time, when you see this wall jump section, just one jump your way through, and you get the first key. It's some sort of key. Yes, it is, Shadow. Yes, it is. For the second key, when you reach this, uh, first when you reach this first bit bathroom, you gotta take, gotta go to the right side of this. And go through this door right here and try to avoid the lasers because the key is right on the top of that crate right there with a G on it. The top crate is it. If you see correctly, you see a little bit of sparkling. But it's right there. So blow this up and you create yourself another key. Nice. For the third key, after you reach this section, what are you jumping for? Stop that. Stop then jumping. When you reach this, this giant room right here, what you gotta do is just go. To the side of the wall, this should be a uh, blob section, which you will take you up right there. If you just go on that, you will go up. And what you're gonna do is just run this path all the way. That's probably just floating there, it's not gonna do any harm to you. If you're not careful. Okay, and you see between those two roadblocks. Yep, right there, another key. Key number three. For the fourth key, after you reach the second split path, what you're gonna do is take the right side yet again. And two tails. You got a key. I'm just yep, you gotta take the right side and you should be supporting the president because he wants his autograph, but not really. Just go down this path. And when you see the giant crates on the left, that means you are correctly with the giant turret. Just shoot the crates and we'll get yourself another key. Key number four. And for the last key, what you gotta do is go to the last room before you go in the elevator with the um, escape pod. So just go along this gooey path and Run along the side. Make sure you run to the right side of this, or it doesn't really matter. And it's between those giant containers. Okay then. Now actually, what I did after this is restart the level because there's no way you can get a checkpoint and get to the uh, key door. So that's not possible in this certain occasion. So, if if quickly soon it will restart the level. 
looking at the looking at the timeline over here. It will restart any time soon. Yeah, just restart the level, and then you will see right here with a robot turning huge. It's fun, and the first key is in nearby as well. So if you don't know what I meant just a moment ago, you can get yourself another spinner. But this one is actually rather useful than the pretty useless spinner from last time. This time you can actually uh, ride on the electrical fences, which you fences. You can grind on those electrical rails you normally wouldn't be able to. Well, you can also grind on electrical rails if you have Chaos Control, Chaos Blast, then you'll be invincible as well. But it's, it's a really handy power up, and you get yourself an extra life, a shadow box, and an electric shield. Lightning shield. It's not too bad. Actually, pretty helpful. Okay, for the next key we, keys, we are going to Iron Jungle. Let's begin. For the first key, from the third checkpoint, you'll see if correctly you see a gun beetle at the right, left. Just humming attack to it and attack these two crates there, and you get yourself the first key. For the second key, go for it. If you reach this first section right here with the um, shadow clones trying to shoot you and the robots, just turn back. And you'll see, get yourself another key. Okay then, for the third key. Shit, class. You gotta go to this checkpoint right here. I think you have to take the bottom path. If you split path with a rail. And, well, there's a key right there. If you take the bottom path. And if you take the top path. Like here, if you go to the, the dark side. You will see yourself some few gun robots. And a giant gun robot over there. What you gotta do is. It, look at the cage and turn the camera to the left. Then you'll see yourself the fourth key. And the fifth key is actually way at the end. It's not too far from here, so I didn't cut it from here. I just changed my mind. What I was meant to say a moment ago. Um the third key was on the split path. If you took the bottom path, you wanted to destroy the egg balloon. Which is actually required for the hair mission. And the top path, the fourth key was actually at the top path, which leads you to the dark and the gun soldiers. So that's basically it. And the key is right there if you destroy that um, box or something over there. Barrels. Looks like barrels. Okay, what you can do is go all the way to the... I think it's the second checkpoint. Yes, it is. Got some sort of nerd. <laughs> no, I just watched this video. I actually edited it yesterday, so... Mm. Okay, the key is right there. If you just jump down here and turn around, then you can just the key door. And what's behind the key door, you ask? Well, you're gonna find out and see you next time. You get yourself a few barrels and chaos blasts, that's really. And you get yourself three amazing guns, but what's really odd, you cannot change weapons when you have chaos blast. So you'll see that. Okay, for the next key, we're actually going to one of the rather annoying missions in Space Gadget. These keys are really pretty annoying. After you reach this first section right here with the gravity nanic, you see a platform on the top. What you want to do is to make take you a few tries. Spin as jump your way at the top right over there. If Shadow manages to succeed. But it's kinda tricky to pull off at first, but once you have it here it's pretty easy to do. Take as you have right now. Yep, jump all the way up and how long attack. Here you can find yourself the first key. It's right there, waiting for you to pick up. Pick me up, I'm a key. And the key sound crisp quick. For the second key, after you hit the th I think it's the third checkpoint. If you check out. Go turn back and you see the key up there. Well, this is a very tricky jump. This will make you take a few tries. What you want to do is stand there, humming attack, and if you're lucky, you can bounce straight off and get the second key. For the third key, what you want to do is go just fall along the path which you normally would and go on your spell for your spinny thing. I just didn't know what I was just saying a moment ago. Basically, what you're going to do is follow the spinning thing. Just follow this path. Actually, you've got to go to the dark path for this because you see, you see this giant flame things of disaster. I think if correctly it should be a sixth checkpoint. Uh, to get here, what you're gonna do is at a third checkpoint you're gonna destroy the uh, shield generator, which will take you to the dark, dark path. And so to the sixth checkpoint. So basically where you end up right here. This key is also very tricky to get. This level is full of tricky keys. I think it just got it away that the developers didn't intend to do it, but the gravity change right here was really odd. Then you can change back to normal and then it will shift back again, right here, yeah. If you can see correctly, just a moment ago, you should see the key in the left top corner of the screen. Well, you can see it right now, but it's, it's there, trust me. Trust me, it's there. I'm Shido, and I approve of this message by Superman. Okay, 
Okay, what you don't want to do is go through the door because it will lock you and the gravity will go back to normal, but it will lock you. That's definitely what you do not want to do. Actually, the way I got it, I think I just noticed the key not too long from here. I want to just, I want to just to show you this part that you can actually see where I'm at. You see the key at the top corner right there. So what I did was go at this corner right there. Very carefully. Yeah. I first wanted to try to jump to it, but it didn't succeed. But basically, when you stand on the box and go on this, you can actually uh, spin dash from that side over there. So basically, that's how I used to get the key. But probably not the way the developer has been tended to. So, <laughs> well, not really. So, so basically, we're trying to spin this just away along this wall, and you eventually get the key if you jump at the right time. Spin that jump, and right there, there's a third key. Not the way any developers tend to, but oh well. For the fourth key, actually, just follow along this path when you reach the last checkpoint. And from the last checkpoint, what you can do is just go through the door. Go through the door, so I know it's rather difficult, but and you see this path right there. What you gotta do is just go on the spring, turn right, and there's another spring. And if you should see the key right up there. But again, there's also kind of tricky. What you gotta do is spin and jump your way over there, but don't do it on the left side, it will launch you straight into death. Just trying to do it from the left side this time, I don't think I figured it out until much later. Because there's nothing at the right side. Sorry, the right side. The third, uh, first I thought you had to spin and jump your way like that, but it doesn't work, trust me. Basically what you're gonna do is go from the right side, and then you'll... And that platform does absolutely nothing at all. It'll make you go up there. I thought, no, well maybe this will make you go over there, but no. What you're gonna do is just go to that other spring. Go one of the doors around there. Go to the other spring, just go to the right. And then spin the ship. Will you stop that? <laughs> stop fooling around like an idiot. No, you're not supposed to do it like that. Well, look at the timeline, you should be able to do it right rather soon. So what you're going to do is spin that jump, not like that. Spin that jump right over there. If you've done it correctly, you should be able to make it up there and get yourself the fourth key. For the fifth key, what you're going to do is follow the hero path this time. And, you know, just go along the third checkpoint without destroying the generator, shield generator and just follow this path. And if you reach this real section right there with the giant uh, open space, with the rails trying to beat Sonic. What you're going to do is follow this path like you normally would. It's played to 50 XC, so it's rather easy to control. Just follow this path, look just like normal, and you just reach over there. And trying to make it on this robot, you about 90% of the time you won't. So what you gotta do is land on the rail instead of just going forward. Just land on the rail like that. Just follow this path through with those whoop whoop panels, and well, that's the spring at the end. So now you can basically yeah put yourself right in front of the key. So there you go, that's the fifth key. So what you're gonna do is go back to the checkpoint before that, the fourth checkpoint, because the key door is actually nearby that. So basically what you're gonna do is turn back and turn left. There's the key door. Wow, that's pretty easy. And, and inside there you will find yourself a portal. And this portal will lead you straight above the exit. It's actually a pretty nifty shortcut from the f strong beating Sonic. And this will launch you straight into the exit with a boost as well. And get a few rings, so that's pretty good as well. And make sure you watch out for meteors, because the meteors will hurt you. And you'll probably get knocked off anyway. So there we go. That's the level done. This is probably one of this is probably the most annoying mission to get all the keys on. Okay, for the next level we are going to the Lost Impacts. Also a rather annoying mission. For the first key, after you reach this First room, go up the elevators to reach the section with the per perfect chaos, with the artificial chaos. And when you reach the spot, jump all the way up and you would find yourself the first key, right there. Yeah, right there. If you guess it. Get it? Get it. That's the first key. For the second key, when you reach the section with the turret right there, what you're gonna do is take the right side. So turret? You know the thing. You gotta take the right door when you reach the section, and there's a key up there. What you're gonna do is jump on that thing, the shiny whoop whoop thing over there. Very descriptive, I know. When you reach the checkpoint over here, when you reach the outlet with all the meteors, which you can see right here, what you're gonna do is jump off when you just reach the room because there's a rocket on the side. 
And this will lead you straight to the third key. Yep, jump off. Or don't. Actually don't. That's the third key. Let's go back on. This was a rather funny. <laughs> I just fell through it and I was like, aww. Oh, that's pretty stupid. Okay, when you reach this, this point right here with the perf... I said it again. With the artificial cat right there at the top, there's a key right behind you. What you also need is a uh, explosive weapon because the fifth key is also actually nearby this. It's basically pretty easy to get. Just jump from there, jump straight up there, and you can just hold the key. Right there. Are you? And the fifth key is actually through that door right here, but you need an explosive weapon to get to it. And the gun doesn't help, but luckily for us, if you could just go through the door right here, that's explosive weapons. How convenient! I would say so myself. Now let's ignore the gun soldiers, or, well, one of them has an explosive weapon as well, so even the destroyed gun soldier would be my guest. In this room, you get yourself an extra life, 20 rings, and the fifth key. Now, let's see what's behind the key door, shall we? Well, the key doors are rather difficult to find as well. So, uh, jump down here and go to the checkpoint. Go to it. Go to the checkpoint. Come on. Basically, the last checkpoint where you can find all the fifth keys. And go back to the third checkpoint. Right there. I think it's the third one. Yeah, it probably is. I'm just going to do a stick the door on the left, and go straight on the head. Go to the left path, and go through the doors. When you reach the second with the hole in the wall, you're pretty close near the key. So it's not on the left actually. What he's trying to do is just destroy the artificial gas for a number of reasons. The key door is not here. Please look further ahead. Take the split path to the left again, because there's nothing here as well. Silly hedgehog. There's nothing up here. Well, probably something like an extra life or something, but nothing too important. Let's go left along this path anyway. And when you reach this section right here, with the artificial scales right there, what you're going to do is take to the left, and you can see yourself hanging around, and jump off there. Then we get yourself a key there, and this is probably the most, one of the most useless items which you can get there. You get yourself a, a vehicle. Which is really, really useless, because you cannot actually use it at all. But maybe pretty helpful when you have troubles with the meteors, so the meteors want to destroy you in one hit. Well, that's pretty the only occasion I can think of. But no, other than that, it's pretty useless. We can actually get it on the gun lift and ride with it, I guess. But it's rather useless. Just, just pick up the keys if you really want to. Just for completion's sake. Stop blowing up the audience, Shadow. Ah, oh, but I want to. No fun. Okay, that's when we'll conclude this part of the key guide right here. So we have only have one more part to go, the last five levels right here. Starting with the Gun Fortress. So thank you for watching, this is your lovely Azubazanic signing off. See you then, and see you at the final key collecting guide.